Hey, what's up everybody? Just a quick video for those of you interested in getting into robo-advising. Uh, there's a lot of options out there and this is the one that I particularly like. So I wanted to just do a quick video to walk you through some of its highlighted features and uh, just kind of give you an opinion based on from a regular guy. Uh, so first of all, click the link in the description below and you'll be taken to the Wealthfront homepage and you can obviously poke around. I really like Wealthfront as a robo-advisor. Um, they've got lots of um, options for you and features and very inexpensive, relatively speaking. Now, you're not going to get an actual person advising you. That's why they call it robo-advising, right? It's all algorithm-based. But uh, it's super easy to use, super intuitive. As you can tell from their home screen, uh, you can get some ideas of some of the, the intuitiveness. It's very Apple-like almost in its design. Um, not a clunky website at all, easy to use, and recommended by a lot of folks out there. So um, I really like it, and here's how you go about getting started. Obviously, uh, click Get Started or Create an Account, and you can open an account or... Uh, just follow the on-screen instructions, super easy. And they really craft the uh, application process and then later uh, your allocation of how much money you want where according to your own needs. So it really takes time, I think, to get to know you. Uh, in this example, we'll just kind of go through and enter uh, some uh, hypothetical sign-in information. Obviously, you would fill in your specific information, but name, email, and obviously the uh, little security features there and agree. Make sure you read all the terms of services, of course, that is on you and your responsibility. They also need to protect you, make sure uh, you're not creating a false account, so you'll need to enter your phone number. Uh, there's several ways to create an account, pretty easy to do, uh, and very little, little commitment. So uh, after you've created an account, you'll log in with your email and password every time. And uh, it's got a great intuitive dashboard with lots of features. Now, one of the, um, if you're interested in borrowing money, they do, they have recently come out with an option where they'll loan you money at a very, very affordable interest rate. So if you have a house project or uh, anything going on, uh, you can check that out. Obviously, you want to read those details really well to make sure you understand the implications. Uh, now, looking at this, this is pretty cool. You can actually set your risk factor. So how aggressively do you want your money to be uh, invested? So it's going to ask you various things like your birth date. And for the sake, we'll put in $60,000 per year. Um, and then, you know, whatever your total uh, investments are currently. And it's going to ask you uh, what is more important, right? So it's really going to get to know your um, comfort level with risk. And also some hypothetical situations. Would you buy more during a decline or would you sell? How would you react if the market did a certain thing? And then they're going to come up with a, an estimated risk tolerance for you. And you can adjust that based on your preferences. So if you're not really happy with how the computer or the, the algorithm worked there, you can adjust it as shown to become more aggressive or less aggressive uh, depending on your age and a variety of factors. So definitely want to research that to determine, you know, how old you are and what is your ideal allocation. Obviously, the higher number up you go, the more in stocks uh, you'll get, and the lower number, uh, the, mu the more, you know, dividends and bond funds that they'll you'll be investing in. Um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, another nice little feature is that you can set goals and you can experiment, you know, based on uh, how much money a, a house might cost and how much money you would save per month and how long it would take to buy. Um, so really, uh, I think a, a practical way uh, to, uh, to assess, you know, some of those big life steps. Um, so you can play around with sliding scales. Again, take note of how intuitive and clean the design is. Something that, again, I really appreciate. If you've ever used like Vanguard, for example, I love Vanguard, but their brokerage service is really clunky. Not at all like, like this. Now, Vanguard's obviously not a robo-advisor. So, um, you can also check out schools and look at your kids to see, you know, um, how much money will it take if I want to send my child to X school. Um, so you can enter your child's, you know, uh, specific information, birth date, and it's going to obviously calculate wh at what point in time will you need that money by. And you can uh, look at the current costs, estimated costs of, um, of that specific school, and you can use a sliding scale again to see, okay, if I saved X, a month, X amount of money per month, will I be able to afford this school? 
Um, now, putting money in and out, super easy to do. You can transfer it from your bank account, or they also have their own in-house savings account, which is awesome, very competitive rates, so you can check that out as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. You can invest your money you know, um, regularly, one time only. You can do it weekly. Uh, lots of different options there for you. And again, um, once you transfer that money and invest it, it's going to allocate uh, your money dis and distribute it evenly across different funds. So a lot of diversity there, and it really takes the legwork and the pain out of having to choose individual funds yourself, researching them, and investing in them. So highly recommended. Uh, click that link at the bottom if you're interested in learning more. And uh, thank you so much. Hopefully this video has been helpful.